dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus grace and peace of our lord jesus christ be with you all praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah look chapter 24 verse 45 he opened their minds to understand the scriptures a single decision will bring darkness to our life so it is very important to thing with the god to seek the will of god then we will be prosperous we will be peaceful we will be in god's in god's presence always let us sing and worship our lord let us call the mighty anointing of holy spirit hallelujah hallelujah if possible holy fire holy fire holy fire holy fire holy fire glory holy fire 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 majestic name be glorified forever and ever amen 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 praise the lord praise the lord dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus book of joshua chapter 24 verses 14 and 15 Now therefore revere the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in faithfulness put away the gods that your ancestors served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord Now if you are unwilling to serve the Lord choose this day whom you will serve whether the gods your ancestors served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the amorites in whose land you are living but as for me and my household we will serve the lord me and my household we decided to serve the lord with our full heart and with our full mind with our full strength if you love more than if you love world more than your god then what all things you do it will not be please it will not be pleasing to your heavenly father god first give prime importance to god and his will we are not at all familiarized we are not at all practice we are not at all uh, in tune with seeking the will of god for each and everything we do in our daily life hallelujah hallelujah See in Jesus life he was always sure he was always confident with his heavenly father and he said 
in John chapter 8, verses 29 and 30. My heavenly father is always with me and I am in the presence of my heavenly father because I always, I always do whatever pleases my heavenly father. If you ask your God, Lord, what do you think about me? What shall I do right now about this thing, about this case? What shall I do? If you ask the will of God, the Lord will reveal you what you should do on that particular hour, on that particular subject, there, then and there. I want to invite Mr. Joe Joseph. He is a very powerful uh, uh, minister of Holy Fire Catholic Ministry in Toronto. One day in his life, he was perplexed. He was confused about his job. Then he, he began to ask, Father, what shall I do? I invite Mr. Joe Joseph. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, as Father Sever Khan has rightly mentioned, I was confused one point of my life with regard to my job. In one of the particular year, I have reached 200% of my target. It is not only me, it is a couple of our friends also who achieved this particular target. And the company has decided to honor us with a double promotion. And this double promotion was one particular career path was to have a couple of franchises under you. Another career path was to have sales managers under you. And everyone selected, including me, everyone selected to have uh, franchises under you. Only because of one reason, that would give you double the money and double the growth. And I also wanted to go through that way. And just before taking this one, I was 200% sure that I am just going through this way. And just before taking this one, a friend of mine, who is a very powerful spiritual uh, Catholic minister, I have had a consultation with him. I just shared my experience. And he, told, he asked me one question. Joe, have you, have you asked the will of God? And I thought, what is the will of God? This seems to be quite clear that I should go through this way. The option one, to have agencies under me and have double the growth than, than ever expected. He said to me one thing, let's pray for some time. And after a few minutes of prayer, he taught me something. I'm just going to tell you something what Jesus has spoken to me. You're going to take up option number two. That is, you're going to be a people manager. Not, you're not going to manage the agencies. And I was shocked. Brother, what, what are you talking? I have made my decision. And he asked me one question. Do you respect God? Are you seeking the will of God? Then reluctantly, on that day, I said, if God has spoken to me, if that is the will of God, I will take it up. Because I didn't know the importance of the will of God at that point of time. My dear brothers and sisters, after a year, everyone who took up the number one option have failed. In my knowledge, everyone have failed. I was the only one who achieved my target. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 This is why we need to seek the will of God. Many a times, we go on our own ways. We seek our own desires. We need to listen to God. Let's look into the Old Testament. What God, sp God has spoken to David. S 2 Samuel chapter 5, 17 to 25. Let's read that passage. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel, all the Philistines went up in search of David. But David heard of it and went down to the stronghold. Now the Philistines had come and spread out in the valley of Rephaim. And David inquired of the Lord, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you give them into my hand? And the Lord said to David, Go up, for I will certainly give the Philistines into your hand. Yes, Lord promised him, Go up, certainly, 
I will give Philistines into your hand. And David came to Baal Perasim and David defeated them there. Yes, David defeated them because he he sought the will of God. And he said, the Lord has broken through my enemies before me like a bursting flood. Therefore, the name of that place is called Baal Perasim. And the Philistines left their idols there and David and his men carried them away. And the Philistines came up yet again and spread out in the valley of Rephaim. And when David inquired of the Lord, he said, You shall not go up, go around to their rear, and come upon them opposite the balsam trees. And when you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees, then bestir yourself, for the men of the Lord has gone out before you to strike the army of Philistines. This is exactly what is going to happen in our life. When we ask God, He is going to give us guidance. He is going to help us. He will say the ways how to go ahead. After my career in Bangalore, and I got married by that time, and I asked my wife, she, she was working in Ireland. I asked her to come back to uh, India because I've been well positioned. I got a good job. I told her, no way, I am going to leave this job and coming to Ireland. I consulted with the spiritual elder. He told me, ask the will of God. We again prayed, and he said, it is the will of God that you move to Ireland. My dear brothers and sisters, I left my job and moved to Ireland. In a place, everyone, some of my friends who was living there, they told me that do not come here. There is no job. But my dear brothers and sisters, I was certain my God who has given me this, this, this will, he will protect me. If, if he has decided to take me to Ireland, he has a ways to look after me. On the first month itself, I got a good job in, in that country where I had no experience. Just look at what God says to you today. Just listen to him. Not to everyone's experience. We just need to pay attention to our Lord. I went there. We, I got a job. We had a good job. We were well settled. And again, through another spiritual man, during one of the retreat, I was given a message that you're going to move from Ireland to a place named Canada. And again, the same experience I had. Many people told me, we are jobless here. Why are you doing this foolishness? This is, this is waste of time. But this man told me, this is God's plan. God has plans for you. My dear brothers and sisters, I believed in that word of God. I said to my wife, yes, we are going to take a decision to move to another place. And God given me the assurance, I will look after you. I will uphold you in my victorious right hand. I moved to Ireland, I, from Ireland to Canada. And in the first week, God has provided me a job, a small job. But I was very happy. I knew it was God's plan. The God who brought me from nothing, he has a plan to look after me. To give me everything. And he has the strength. Word of God says, my dear brothers and sisters, those who looked upon God were never been ashamed. And they were radiant. Yes, I believed in this word of God. And I, I, I started working there. And I asked, again I asked for some of the signs. Lord, is this your will? How I have to really move to Canada? And Lord told me, yes, this is my will. And one, one day, in last year, during one, one of the retreats in Miami, I was asked to do the music ministry. And Father Simon told me, Joe, you're going to move in the month of July. And I said, Father, I don't see a point. I don't know how it is going to happen. And again, he told, yes, I'm confirming it. You're going to move in the month of July. I told my wife have to complete her post-graduation. He said, God has made the plan and you're going to move to and your whole family is going to come in the month of July. Yes, I believed in his promises. I said, Amen. And in the month of July, my wife had an exam, a post-graduation exam. In the first exam, the theory exam, she passed the exam one, with one of the highest marks in the university. And the second time, she had to appear for the practical exam. And during the practical exam, something went wrong. A week ahead, 
my both my kids got chicken pox and she couldn't focus on her exam and i knew that she told me i think i don't know i'm just leaving this exam into the will of god and after the exam she said okay i did well but when the exam result came she failed and i was so so disappointed and i was asking lord you promised me in the month of july that we are going to my whole family i've been just waiting for them we are going to move into canada why lord why this is happening to me and lord answered me do not be afraid i am with you there is a miracle that happened a week after the course coordinator from the university called her and she said sapna something something went wrong with your uh, practical exam i just wanted to know what exactly it is and she said something my kids were not keeping well and they got chicken pox and she said one word and this person was also a believer just you trust in god let me try what i can do and she presented her case into the student union there student commission there that university conducted a re examination where she passed the exam praise the lord if we believe in the promises of god if we trust in each and every word that he has spoken that is true and that word of god has life we just need to claim that word we just need to believe in that god as exactly what father simon had spoken to me from secure ministries we she reached on 25th of july my whole family moved on to canada there hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise, the lord. praise the lord and many people said now she is going to suffer you are all going to suffer that you are going to find difficulty in finding a job my dear brothers and sisters as i mentioned earlier do not believe in the deceiving words of this world trust in god those who looked upon god never been ashamed you need to seek the will of god matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says seek the kingdom of god rest everything will be added unto you and on the first week of her arrival she got a job as a physiotherapist hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. this is a miracle of god you just need to believe in his promises as and when you listen to me i just wanted to convey this message our god is a living god our god is a powerful god he can make wonders in our life we just need to re- listen to him we need to pay attention to him we just need to ask the will of god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you yes my dear ladies and gentlemen it is true second samuel chapter 5 verse 10 and david became greater and greater for the lord the god of hosts was with him yes if we desert if we try to ask our god Lord what you wants me to do right now he will reveal you what his mind is now let us pray holy spirit will help us to sit before our heavenly father let us pray fold our uh, please fold your hands please let us pray come holy spirit fall afresh on me Fill me with your power satisfy my needs only you can make me oh give me strength to make me go come holy spirit fall afresh on Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Psalm 34 verse 5. Look to him and be radiant.
ജീസസ് ഇതോള അവർ ഹാർട്ട് ഇതോൾ അവർ സ്ട്രെങ്ത് വി അക്സെപ്റ്റ് യു and we we proclaim you as our redeemer as our savior come to us lamb of god come to rescue us jesus lamb of god worthy is your God blessed, blessed be his holy name blessed, blessed be Jesus Christ true God and true man blessed be the name of Jesus blessed be his most sacred heart blessed be his most precious blood blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar blessed be the holy spirit the paraclete blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy blessed be her holy and immaculate conception Blessed be her glorious assumption blessed be the name of Mary virgin and mother blessed be saint joseph her most chaste spouse blessed be god in his angels and in his saints